Hello everyone and welcome back to the, I don't even know what I'm going to call this, the trailer, the mobile home restoration. I'm just trying to get in the groove of this video series. Once I get everything gutted and, and sprayed and everything, I'll have a better idea of what exactly I'm going to be doing. I don't know where I was when I left off a few days ago between work and uh, just everything that's, you know, you got to do around the farm and everything. I can't remember where I left off. Like I said, it's going to take me a little bit to get in the groove of this video series. You can tell by this mirror being so low. I mean, it comes up to, the top of it comes up to about my chin. And all the metal bars in here that uh, at one time, and there's no door here, it's just wide, that it was definitely somebody with a wheelchair lived here. I got a bunch of the floor sprayed and then I ran out of the stuff I was using and went back to that store because they had two gallons left when I bought it and they were sold out so I had to go to another store and this time I bought a five gallon thing of it because they had some and now I'm just working on that far and just getting some stuff out. We were going to move this wall, I think I talked about it, you know, to make the kitchen bigger but I don't think I'm going to because all the plumbing is already in that wall. And with no basement underneath this and not a lot of room underneath there, I don't, you know, want to be crawling underneath there. Else I have that or I have to tear the floor all up. And some of this floor has to come up to be repaired. But I think I'm just going to leave that wall right there. I think so far we're still thinking of removing the other bathroom. You can see the side of the tub right there. And just making that like laundry and storage. But we'll see. This is still in the development stages. They had a washing machine in this bathroom with no vanity, just the tub, toilet, and washing machine. So I'm trying to get the washing machine out, but the washing machine is wider than the opening was. So I, and then I thought I would have to cut this out, the wall. But then when I looked at it closer, they had already cut the wall out. They just ran a sawzall right down the side of this one by, cut the paneling on both sides, and they just had one screw holding it in. So I just pulled that screw, popped this out, and now I'm sliding that washing machine out of there and we'll get rid of it. Well, this floor here is real wavy. This bathroom, the toilet wasn't hooked up. Got some water on the floor from the washing machine, and actually I think that was antifreeze. Uh, the tub here, they have holes screwed through it or drilled through it where they ran the water and stuff for the washing machine, which was here. Toilet wasn't hooked up. Uh, there was a board screwed over the top of this for like a little table or I don't know. Uh, so that hasn't seen daylight in how many, I don't know how many years, but since this has got wet because it's laundry room, I can see that this is home, which happens a lot with this old um, chip boards type stuff. So I want to take a little chunk of this out just to make sure that the actual subfloor is still good. That's the only thing I really worry about. Normally that stays good, it's just this. That is a problem. I, I really dislike taking this out. It's so hard. It comes out in little tiny chunks. And uh, so, but I mean, one room isn't bad. Doing the whole thing, it's like, no, thank you. Is that the only flooring that they had in here? Was this? No floor underneath it? Huh, there is no subfloor, so anywhere that this stuff is rotted, like here, joists are good. I will have to tear this up. It'll tear up easier that way. 
and then just lay down a whole new three quarter inch piece of real plywood. Huh. I guess they make these things pretty cheap. I was going to spray tonight the floor, walls, ceiling, but I'm just going to wait. I did, Melissa and Brandon were just out here and we just walked through here for about a half hour and now that all the junk is out. And now I can kind of assess everything that I need to do. Like, hey, this was out when we, we got it, so I know I have to fix that. I tore this bottom half off because there would, it would have never been a back door in this place, but when they made it into an office for the cabinet shop next door. I'm sure this was the main entrance for the office part. And this door is for a 2x4 wall, but these walls are only, you know, maybe a 2x2 two two wall, plus the sheathing on the outside, so it sticks in and I don't want that. So I will fur this, tear this one out because we're going to put in a full view glass, and then fur this out, just build another wall in front of this wall so that I can put trim on here and not have a gap behind it. So the floor is rotted in that corner of the door, which is very common in, I mean, I've replaced a lot of like patio doors, front doors, and hundreds of times that I have to fix rot like that. And I'll have to check that joist underneath because a lot of times that joist will get rotted too, which is not a big deal. I just replace the rotted part. Not, it's not a big deal. So that for sure has to be fixed. The rest of this floor looks really nice. I'm going to put, of course, half inch, 7 16ths, I think is what they have out there. Put that over this floor. I have a little bit of rippling right over here, and that comes from that bathroom where the uh, washing machine was. Something happened in that room. You know, you saw that hole that I put in there. So I'll replace that, and I, I don't think I'm going to have to replace in here, but when I tear that side out, I'll take a look at it and see what I think. So if I come out of that old bathroom here, we've got this, I'm going to leave this, we'll put a, I'll just get it to either 37 inches or 49 inches, whatever I can fit in there, and this will be just a bifold closet, be a nice storage area. This will be just a second bedroom in here, and then this would be the closet for the bedroom, even though since this is going to be laundry, I'm going to put the door, where am I going to put the door? I don't know, on this side I could put it here or put it over here, but I think this is a better bet because I can get this to a 2-6 door. I'll probably have to widen this out a little bit, but I, these two foot doors that they had in here, I just don't like it. So I'll probably make this one a little bit wider. And then we talked tonight and we're for sure going to remove this window because I'm going to replace the windows and center it because, you know, kitchen will end here and then center that window somewhere over here. I do a lot of this where I think out loud talking and then things will change, but so far that stays. Here in the kitchen, we were out here talking again. This will be a refrigerator. That's the plug-in for the fridge. And I'll do it just like it was before, but they, before they had a real little refrigerator. They must have here. I want a full-size fridge, countertop space, countertop space, kitchen sink, window above the kitchen sink, and then I want a little cabinet. I'm not doing this all to scale. Then I want the stove, and then I want a little cabinet on the end of the stove. That was the one way we thought about it. The other way was refrigerator here, stove right next to the refrigerator, and then cabinets throughout here, of course, sink, window, and then just more cabinets on to the end. We did the uh, Melissa side one, but then they did that and then put an L on this. I don't know that we'll need that, though. Still debating in this room, where do you put a TV? That window is going to stay there. Uh, Melissa said, you know, you can put the TV there, couch against this wall, and then the TV there but the TV will cover up part of the window. So then when Brandon was out here, I thought TV on this wall 
and then some sort of a couch here or something. I think originally they had it at an angle right here. Uh, I just I just don't know. But you know, Brandon's going to be out here for now, and he th I thought you know the TV in front of the window wouldn't be that good of a deep you know be that awesome. And I mean, there's only maybe 40 inches there, and who has a I have a 32 inch TV at the tent. You know, I have one in my work camper, but in a in a house now everybody gets them bigger because they're so much cheaper as they than they used to be. So I guess we can deal with that another time. I still need an access here no matter what for it to get to the tub. For this bathroom, we're gonna leave the tub, even though it's a shallow tub. I think we're gonna leave it. I just don't want to go through the, and I bet you this is a little four foot six tub again. Actually, I'm gonna go get the tape measure. Yeah, four foot six. So if I were to put a new tub in here, I guess maybe you could special order a four foot six, but you can buy five footers all day long. I would have to move that wall and that's not gonna happen. So that tub is staying. We're gonna keep the vanity, probably paint it. I gotta fix the drawers. They look like the travel trailer ones. They're gonna have to have new rails on them, new toilet, flooring, everything. And then this bedroom here, like I said before, we'll have to put doors in and stuff, but our one right, right where the camera is sitting, there'll be a door. Replace that window. I don't think we're gonna have to sheetrock the walls here. We're gonna put a different ceiling in. These, she's, these ceiling tiles that she really likes that we'll probably put up on the ceiling in here and in the living room kitchen area. The other bedroom, I think I can salvage the ceiling. Over here, furnace is behind here, uh, which will stay there. I'm going to tear this wall and this wall out. I want to be able to get out that furnace, remove that furnace, and get a new furnace put in. If they can do the heat exchanger thing on, a, on this furnace, which I believe they could be able to, would be able to do, if we put in the wood boiler system, um, it'd be easy access to get at that also. Water heater used to be here because that's where the gas hookup is. Tear these shelves out. Um, like I said, water heater over there, much easier. All the plumbing is in the same place. Actually, all the plumbing is right here, except for the ones that shoot over to that bathroom. So I, I like that. All the mess is in one place. No trying to run water lines through here when we have a 30 degree below day in the wintertime. So then this can go, I, I suppose this will just be some, I'll tear all this shelving out and stuff, and it can be all redone. And then this here, I think we'll just make into a pantry because the electric box is here and stuff. This will have to be cleaned up, figure out what they used to have running here and just go through the whole thing. Tear this shelf out, put in a nice pantry with shelving and I was telling Melissa this place will have more storage than that house with all the crap that she's got. So she might have to move over here. <laughs> So that's the rundown for right now. You know, things might change. Uh, it's just nice to have everything tore out of here now so I can see what needs to be fixed. I was just a little worried that there might be damage that, uh, that I couldn't see and, and really everything is pretty much what I expected. It's really weird now because on this side, all the carpets out, everything, it smells like an old house smell that not really a musty smell, just an old house, like Grandpa and Grandma's house is what I think of the smell as. And then as you transition through, it smells like a brand new house over here. I'm not sure tomorrow, I'm gonna for sure shoot the rest of the uh, primer inside. Might start tearing off the siding. I, I, like I said, I, I don't care about the sides so much in the back. I want to get the front cleaned up, new siding, and everything before winter. All I'm fighting against is winter right now. I can do this whole entire project. It's not a big deal, but it all takes time. I need to get this thing tore off right here. Today I was going to run a chain through it and yank that whole front wall off and just see what happens. <laughs> I'd like to tear all the walls off but leave the deck part and the ramp right now so I can get in and out 
and then once I get you know sheetrock and stuff brought inside then I can think about tearing this off uh, because like I said well, you know th this side of the ramp is not much farther toward the house is what the whole entire thing is going to be when it's done just a little four or six foot uh, deck you know off the front and then the ramp but I want the ramp to be shoved up against the trailer like I talked about before there's just no reason to have a railing on both sides that's it for the trailer today I think tomorrow I have free to work on it and then the following day I work so see what we get done tomorrow to get burnt up by gallons of this primer this morning and get things sprayed and uh, then I can just let it dry in here and I thought I'll get that done right away this morning it got down to I woke up at 4 30 this morning and it was 40.8 degrees in the middle of July you know <laughs> it's like oh and it's supposed to be 80s next week but how is the garden supposed to grow when it gets down in the 40s
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think now we'll go through and look at the prices to fix everything up and assess and, you know, kind of figure out what exactly we're going to do. But it's coming along pretty good so far. I will see you guys on the next video.